Chosen ones, where you are, 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 chosen ones, back with another powerful and productive video. This is very serious about your relatives. Yes, let's talk about that. Stop putting your trust, hope in your relatives. Because many of your relatives only help in funeral preparation or barrier preparation and that's all. They aren't going to support you because they are afraid of what might become of you. They are afraid of the glory that will come. And therefore, they aren't going to support you. Yes, I'm telling you, many of them. So the first or the earlier you stop putting your trust, your hope on them, the better. I'm telling you, they wouldn't help you. They will not support you. You see, the people that hate us, that are our enemies, are the very people that know us. They are the people that are closely related to us. The people that are in our cycle. A relative is someone in your cycle. Someone you re related to, you connected to. And these are the very people that hate on you, that are your enemies. No wonder scripture says, a person's enemy, a man's enemy, are from his own household. Therefore, we must not put our trust on them. I'm telling you, chosen ones. These days, blood is not thicker than water anymore. Gone are the days where there is this adage where the old people out of wisdom will say, blood is thicker than water. But these days I tell you, strangers will even help you more than your own relatives, than the people in your household. Strangers will support your dream. They will believe in you. They will not give up on you. But people that know you, your own people, will give up and disbelieve in you just to make you lose morale and give up on life or in life. I'm telling you, as a chosen one, right? It is not blood that makes us related. Chosen ones, it is not blood that makes us related. It is love that makes us related. Yes. So go where the love is. Because a stranger may love you more than your own relatives, your own blood, your own people. Yes, I'm telling you, they can drive several miles away, kilometers away, to come and bury you. But they won't drive several kilometers away to check up on you. To check if you're doing well or not. That's relatives for you. So the earlier you stop putting your trust in relatives and start to carry your own bucket of water, your own pot of water, the better it's going to be. I'm telling you. 
chosen ones. Learn to carry your own pot of water. And when you do that, you will value each and every drop of it. Oh, yes. Because you know what it takes to get the water. So you know how to be careful about it. In other words, learn to fish yourself. Learn to catch your own fish. Learn to make your own money and blow your own money. Don't put your hope on a relative, on an uncle somewhere, or an auntie somewhere. Even most of us, we've started from the scratch. No inheritance, no rich uncle, no rich auntie, no rich dish, no rich dad. We started from the scratch, from the bottom. It is absolute sweat, blood, dedication, hard work, perseverance, persistence, forbearance, patience, and the grace of God that is carrying us through. So rely on the grace of God, the mercy and favor of God. That is what you, your prayer point should be. Lord, I do not come from a rich family. Lord, I don't have any rich auntie somewhere, rich uncle somewhere to give me something. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, Show me favor. Lord, as I wrestle to discover the next thing to do, the next move to make, the next action to take. Oh God, open the door, door of mercy, door of favor, door of breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough in my life. Ask for the divine favor of the Lord to break through, to make it, to succeed. That divine favor to make money, financial, to gain the financial freedom, to gain the financial independence. That should be your prayer. And stop relying on relatives. Some, when it's barrier preparation, funeral preparation, they will come they will do as if they want to help you. They want to support you. But later, when you try to reach them, they will only disappoint you, be giving you excuses upon excuses. Oh, chosen one, stop relying on relatives and rely on your God because God will never ever disappoint you will never ever betray you. I'm telling you, the people that cause us betrayal are our own very people. The people from our own families, relatives. Yes, I'm telling you. The same thing happened to Joseph. Joseph suffered family betrayal, family hatred, family envy and jealousy. Look at what the enemy have done to Joseph. His own household, his enemies are right from his own household because of his dream. Chosen one, this is a lesson for us to learn, to start putting our trust in only God and keep on pushing, knowing that with God in our boat, in our life, it's going to be worth it. Remember to remember, blood 
does not make us related. It is love that makes us related. I'm telling you. Learn to carry your own buckets of water. Because relatives, most of them are envious and jealous of you. Yes, they will only care when you make it. They will only care when you attain that financial freedom, that financial independence. That is the time they will only care because they know that when you pass away, your properties, your belongings are going to belong to them. They will share it. They will go into lit litigations and things about it. That is what they will be doing. But now for them to help you, many of them will not. This video may seem as if all relatives but it is not all relatives, but many, many relatives, right? In every issue, in every case, there are exceptions. So let wisdom guide you, right? I'm not talking about all relatives, even though it seems so, but it is not all. There are some few good ones, right? But many, majority of them, they will never ever supports you yes but it will baffle you that they can plan a burial preparation a funeral preparation and spend millions on the dead than on the living this should make us take very good care of ourselves yes Take very good care of, of ourselves. What we eat, what we wear, where we live. We should take very good care of ourselves. Because when you pass away today, they will drive so many kilometers to come bury you. But they wouldn't do the same thing whilst you are alive. Yes, you become relevant only to them. When there is money in your pockets, that you have something to contribute, yes, to that funeral preparation, to that barrier preparation, yes. So chosen ones, put your trust in God. God will never forsake you. He will always be with you. He will always see you through. He will always, always be there for you. He said he will not leave us as orphans, but he will be with us 24-7. He never says goodbye. Yes. So keep finding your way out. And remember to remember that nobody owes you anything and you do not owe anybody anything. When you understand this statement, it will help you to take total responsibility over your own life. And I tell you, you will not put your hope on any relatives but you would accept responsibility over your life and you will tell yourself, I'm gonna die rich. I'm gonna die trying to become rich. Yes, and it's better that way than not to try to sit and be open on a relative. In fact, if that is you, you will wait for a long time. Start taking action now, knowing that it is all on you. It is all on you. Yes, it is all on you. I'm telling you. 
Don't get disappointed too when they betray you. When they disappoint you. When they, I mean, abandon you or disown you. Don't get disappointed. Don't get bitter. Don't hold offense. Don't hold grudge. Remember Joseph. Joseph did not hold offense. Did not hold grudge. Because Joseph knew very well the sad things will contaminate his spirit, his pure heart. He didn't hold any grudge against them. He said, as for you, my brothers, you meant it for evil, for harm, but God has done it for my good. It is part of my destiny so that the life of many you see today will be preserved. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, hallelujah, be to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent God, the Lily of the Valley, the Father for the fatherless, the Mother for the motherless, the Husband for the widow, the wife for the widower. Oh my God, my Lord, thank you. Bless your words in the midst of the hearts of your chosen ones, of your children. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Chosen ones, God is all you have. Keep trusting, keep praying. Even if you don't understand, pray. If you understand, pray. If there is money in the pocket, pray. If there is no money on the pocket, in the pocket, pray. If there is food on the table, pray. If there is no food on the table, pray. When the goings are good, pray. When the goings are hard, pray. No matter the situation, learn to give thanks. If you understand, give thanks. If you don't understand, give thanks. If it is comfortable, give thanks. If it is not comfortable, give thanks. If the goings are tough, give thanks. If the goings are good, give thanks. No matter the situation, the circumstance, give thanks. Keep calling on the Lord. And I tell you, He will show you His divine mercy and divine favor. He will locate you in His divine mercy and his divine favor, and it will be well with your soul, with your body and spirit, and your entire family and generation. Learn to depend on God and take responsibility over your own life, and you will never ever be hurt or be disappointed by a relative. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I believe you've picked your lesson. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.